Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. I hope you guys are having a good Thursday. As good as you can have today. I know it's cold. It is just kind of a weird day in some ways, but hop on here and say hi and let's take a break and have some fun. It's always a good, good reason to take a little break. Watch some crafting. I'm trying to get this pulled up on my iPad, so bear with me one sec. If you will let me know that you can hear me okay, that always helps me. Let's see here. Oh, good. Got it up. I see somebody popped on. Hi, Christy. First one, girl. You're awesome. Thank you for being here. So, guys, um, yeah, just when you get on, let me know so I can say hi to you. I have got a book. I have got all kind of stuff kind of sitting around me. I wish you could see, but I've got like a, a tray full of stuff. We're going to do something fun that I've never done before. So we'll, we'll try it together. Hey, Becky, how are you today? Hi, April. Oh, good. I know I felt bad because I just texted you and then I was like, she's going to text me back and it's going to be on Do Not Disturb. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Glad you're here. I've missed you. I haven't seen you a little bit. Hi, Sherry. Glad you're here. Did I miss anybody coming on? I like to say hi to you. So when you watch the replay, you can skip past this part. I know it's, you know, kind of boring, but I really don't like not saying hi to people when they come on. Hi, Diane. Hi, Joanne. Freezing here, sleeting, nasty weather. It's, it's, yeah, it's yucky a lot of places. I'm so sorry, though. I hope that you guys have the groceries you need and medicine you need and just can hunker down and stay inside. Hey, Tarita, good afternoon to you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it probably doesn't go with this shirt, but it I needed it today. Hi, Gloria. Glad you're here. Oh, you have doctor appointments, Dawn, so I hope the weather's not bad for you and you don't have to get out in it. Hi, Patty. Okay, I'm glad that you guys are popping on. So, um, like I said, I've not done this before. We are doing this together. I don't know how it's going to work out, but, like, why not? Let's try it. And hi, Rhonda. Glad you're here, too. How are you today? Hi, Tammy. No breaks. You have a one-year-old climbing on you. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, tell the one-year-old that we have a cute little bunny. I'm not really going to be using this wood bunny, but it's it's more of a pattern. But you can say, look at the bunny. Um, you're going to make chili. That sounds great. Hi, Dana. Glad you popped on. Well, you girls are awesome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. If anybody can sprinkle this out, that always helps me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But what I want to do, I, so I was trying to find a way to use up this grass and you know, I bought this. It, it was a placemat. Now, it was pretty big because I've already used a piece of it. I made a bunny. If you guys saw that big wreath I made and it's got a, a grass bunny on it. As a reminder, be careful. I was glue or I was drying the wreath around the bunny and the heat gun. I mean, this stuff just melts like that. So, be careful. Don't do what I did and give your little bunny an afro. It was it just curled up like tiny little curls. So anyway, I'm going to cut a little piece of this, cover my wood, and I'm going to drill holes in this. We're going to have some sticks, that dowels that will go into it, and we'll hold up some bunnies. The bunnies, you could absolutely use these. I think that would be really, really cute and adorable. But I have already used these. Let's see up above me. See the little banner up here? So I've used those bunnies for that, and they're covered with scrapbook paper and then I put a little bling on their bottoms so they're super cute and I wanted to do something different. Hi Linda, glad you're here. Thank you Christy so much. Hi Nelda, glad you're here too. Thank you Dawn. Y'all are awesome for spreading the spreading the grace. I appreciate it. So Tana, do you have ice? Hi Jessica. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. I hope y'all aren't freezing. I know how um, how glitchy it's been. So anyway, um, I want to make the bunny out of a book page. So, you know, I my daughter is a writer and editor, and my husband has his doctorate, so he, has, he reads every day. I'm not a huge reader. I just don't take the time, but books are an important part of our household, so it's really hard for me to use a book in a craft. 
It really is. And I know that they would not approve. <laughs> this was a $1 book at the Dollar Tree. So um, if you have a book that you can spare, you know, a book that you, maybe you've read it 10 times, you're not gonna read it again, and you can spare a page. You know, I don't know if you guys, do, do y'all have a problem using books? Because I feel really bad. Um, you know, somebody took the time to write this and publish it and all of that, but I am gonna use, you know, a book. So I'm sorry if this bothers anybody. You, this just won't be a craft for you, or like I said, use, you know, a little wood bunny. Um, in fact, we, we could maybe use those bunnies. We'll, we'll see. I'm just kind of looking for pages that I know have a lot of writing on them. And like there were some in this particular book that have like a darker border. I don't want that. So I'm just going to, you know, go to the next page. And I like when I use a book, I like having the full page of words, you know, like this, <clears throat> excuse me, for my craft. So, y'all, are y'all telling me what you think of, oh, awesome, see, that's the way to do it, is to go to the thrift store and get them, like, seriously, that's fantastic, 19 cents for three, that's perfect. Hi, Trisha, glad you're here. Oh, yeah, that's right, Tana, I keep forgetting. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, perfect week, perfect week to get away. All right, guys, so what my thought was, I have this wired, um, I don't know what you call it, wired burlap or whatever, wired jute, um, and I got it at the Dollar Tree. This is my last roll, so I'm gonna have to, when the weather gets better, I'll have to go see if they have it and get some more, and I wish I had gotten more when it was a dollar, but I didn't. So <clears throat> my thought was, did you see me make the, were you guys with me when I made the little bucket? And that's probably behind me as well. I don't see it, but it's back there. It's probably on, on that side over there. But um, I just formed this into bunny ears. And this is where this whole idea came from. So I've got these little bunny ears just made out of the wire. You can stick these into a plant, you know, just make two, stick them into a plant or whatever. And that's kind of what we did yesterday. But I thought how cute it would be to shape these into the little bunny shape on the piece of book. And does it make sense? Like, I'm just gonna have to do it and show you. So, let's get going. Hi, Marty, glad you're here. How's your day going, Marty? Hope this cold weather isn't affecting you because I know sometimes it does affect people. Hi, Cindy, glad you popped on too. Y'all let me know how your day's going and what you're up to today. So, okay, there's lots of things you can do. Um, and sometimes I paint on these book pages. I've done that a lot, actually, and it looks really pretty. You can use them in mixed media. Yeah, I'm the same way, April. That's how I learned, too, so I totally get it. I am going to um, go ahead and do the pages. I'm going to mess these up first how I want them. And so I'm experimenting because I don't know what's going to look best. But these are distressed inks that I've used um, for my mixed media and so I'm going to try this brown color. It's called Brush Corduroy. And you can, you know, I just recommend trying it. Use, see what you like. We'll try on the back of this one first because you can always just wipe them on. But it kind of gives you the lines <clears throat> from the shape of it. So typically what I do if I'm going to use it that way is I use one of these little sponge pouncers. And I get it pretty saturated with that ink. And then I will just kind of rub it onto my page. And it just really distresses that page really well. And some of you may use tea or coffee to kind of uh, get that look. But I'm going to try this. Thank you, Cheryl. It's so perfect, isn't it? Ugh. I mean, there's always, even, no matter how much we try to be organized and have everything go a certain way, there's just always chaos in some way. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Marty. I'm glad that you can get enough, like feel good enough to get something done because those things can make you feel horrible. Um, yeah, once I thought I had the flu, but it really was just a terrible sinus infection that had gotten out of hand. So be sure you get some medicine if it gets to that point, you know, where you're just so I'll show y'all this up close, but all I'm doing is rubbing this on the ink with my little sponge pouncer. I don't know what you call this. 
exactly, and just getting this page to look more antiqued or old. I don't want a brand new looking book page. So this is actually a really good way. I have used the um, cream wax too, and I'll show y'all that just for an example of how that looks. Because sometimes, you know, it's fun to see. I was just watching Tracy um, Campbell over in the Craft Around the Clock group, and she was using these inks. And I thought that was funny that we both had a similar, kind of a similar project today. Hers is super cute. If you're not in that group, guys, you need to be in there. So many cute crafts all the time. You can really go down a rabbit hole watching them because they're basically 24 seven. I'll hold this up in one second. I'm almost done and getting it kind of how I like it. So let me show you the before. This is what, you know, obviously a clean, nice page looks like. And now it just looks dirtied up and antique. And I like that look. Doesn't need to be perfect. Um, it is perfectly fine if you have areas that have a little more. I just think that adds to the character of whatever you're making. So yeah, we'll do a couple of those. And then I'll show you the, the cream wax, how that looks. Okay, so Christy, you get in and out of that group. Hi, Sandra. Happy Thursday to you. Oh, good, Lisa. I mean, Marty, hopefully that will work fast. And maybe that's why you're good enough to be able to organize and things. You know, it's kind of nice when, when, you ha when you have to be down, if you can, you know, still get something accomplished. Because then you're like, wow. I can't believe I got that done because it's something we all need to do is organize and, you know, so good for you. What is the last thing you guys have made? Have you guys been painting or creating or making anything? Y'all let me know. Hi, Serenity. Uh, I know I, I said at the beginning, like my daughter is a writer, editor. Ron has his doctorate and reads like, I don't even know what he reads at least two books a week um, just every day so I feel really bad using these books but but I mean I'm doing it anyway so I love I love the idea of getting them at a you know Goodwill or garage sale or somebody that you know that doesn't doesn't want them anymore and like I said, I kind of put more in some areas and less in others. I don't need, I don't want it to look perfect. Okay, so got those two. Now let me show you what the cream wax will do. Oops, hold on. Okay, how's everybody doing? Last night made floral centerpiece lantern. Ooh, pretty. Oh, I think I saw that in our group. Yeah, forged my own knife yesterday, Tana. What? How fun. Did you take videos and stuff? I would love to see that. How neat. Okay, so I'll grab a baby wipe. And you can also use a paper towel. Just kind of test and see what you like. This is gonna get the little book page wet a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna put some on here and then kind of go ahead and soak it into the baby wipe because I don't want it to be like crazy. And then I'm just gonna kind of rub it on here and because the baby wipe is wet, that's what kind of makes it uh, just kind of blend in with the paper. So it is a more of an all over color and a little more subtle. And as you can see, it's not too much. You can go back and do some more if you need to. And this is just my technique. I'm sure there are a million ways to do this, but this is just how I do it. So. You guys may have lots of other ways that you do it. And let me show you how that looks. So it's much more subtle and you'll just need to let this dry before you use it, obviously. And the other one stays dry. That's good, Serenity, I'm glad. I'm glad, because when I saw you, I was like, oh no, she's gonna hate this. Uh, your granddaughter's taking a nap, Sandra, how sweet. 
made the wood rounds thinking I'm gonna make them into tassels. That's awesome, Jessica. I wanna see. You like this way, Stephanie? The more subtle? Yeah, either way, um, either way. Let me show you the difference. So one is definitely more subtle, and then this one is just a different look, and it's just kind of random. It's not so perfect. So yeah, either way. Um, I might do one more of these. If you guys, let's hear what y'all think. Which one do y'all like better? Because I think that is cute. I mean, either way. So tell me what you guys like better. And it's hard to picture, but if it's cut out into a bunny shape, you know, so subtle. Stephanie likes subtle. What about anybody else? Let's get a couple of votes here. I'm drinking my Coke out of a tea mug or coffee mug. Thank you, Dale. Thank you for the stars. I appreciate that so much. Both are good. Okay, we're going to settle. And I'll do another one with the settle way. Tana likes it too. Sounds good to me. I'm probably going to do three of these. So let me do another page. And, you know, one book will last you forever doing these little projects, so. I do love this wax. Um, you can use it for a lot of different projects, and it goes a long way. okay if, if uh, you know, you mess up your paper. We're going to dry it and cut it out. So. No problem. Everybody's liking the wax? Three years, exactly. I had a hymnal that I did that with forever. I probably still have that hymnal somewhere. I just haven't seen it in a long time. Um, And now you can print, you know, you can just print pages from the internet and you don't have to actually have the actual book or hymnal anymore. So, makes it easy. Okay, so that's good. I'm just going to chunk this. Let me put a little heat on these and kind of dry them a little bit. I'm going to put something on these so I can look at my comments so they don't blow up. Okay, Serenity, so you just saw me then, because you asked how to do, I do the more subtle, just putting this on a baby wipe and then just wiping it. Um, this is the, the Cream Wax, Dura Clear Cream Wax by DecoArt. A handle from a, a vintage store. That's awesome. Yeah, do it, Dale. Um, I'd love to see it. When you guys do something, oh, I'd love to see the pictures. Sometimes I'm inspired by what you guys come up with, so. Okay, so here's where we're gonna try the, um, you know, to make a shape with this wire. This is where I am just not sure how this is gonna work. So I might, let me try going around this shape and forming my wire into this bunny shape. So see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of, going around the bunny with my, it's wired jute that I got from Dollar Tree. And obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of get it into that shape. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, just working it around. So that should be the shape of a bunny and it works. So see, you can print out a tracer of a bunny 
and then just work your way around it like that. Let me grab my wire cutters so I don't ruin my scissors. Cut off the end of this. Yeah, we're gonna see, like I said, this is the first time I'm trying it, so it'll work or it won't, we'll see together. And then, you know, you can just kind of keep keep working with the shape. But actually, that works so good. I don't think I need to work with it. I think it's going to be perfect. I, sorry, I have to face this towards me to kind of make sure it's the right shape. But I'll turn it around and show you in one sec. I think that's going to work perfect. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, this is just me, but I'm going to glue this bottom together. You might not need to do this, but for me, I'm going to glue this, these two together and just kind of hold them here a while. Let them kind of meld together. Oh, no. Somebody's probably telling me, where's your finger protector? But, you know, after a second, you can kind of work with it and it doesn't hurt. Oh, thanks, Dawn. <laughs> I didn't know if it'd work. Hi, Patty. Glad you're here. Oh, Serenity, I'm sorry. You're right. Linda, something about dabbing the wax to make it more blotchy. Um, hmm, I'm not sure what you mean. Now, if you're talking about these pages, this, I used the Distress inks and just rubbed them on there with a sponge. And so, it's a different look. You know, it's a lot more blotchy if you're going for that or, you know, like that look better. Okay, so now I'm going to just glue this down on this book page. So the way that I plan to do it is I'm going to put some hot glue on this and then lay it down. So we'll see. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can so that this glue doesn't start drying. And kind of watching it to see. I see it start drying. I'm going to quit and just kind of try to lift it up, but I think I can get around it. So let's see. And I probably should have been more careful to have it straight up and down, but this is my first time. So, you know, it's okay. It doesn't bother me. And now all I have to do is cut that out. So if you are gonna do this with your kids or grandkids, you would want to use Elmer's glue, of course, don't use hot glue, but it would still work and they could still be a part and you could let them have, um, what do you call those things? Um, you know, they're long, it's a long pipe cleaner, like a pipe cleaner. While you're using the, you know, better quality something, you can give them pipe cleaners and let them make little bunnies and. try to think of ways to incorporate the kids so that while you're crafting, they can craft and be creative and build a memory with you without using hot glue and those kind of things or our expensive supplies, you know. I think that's good. Okay, so there's our little bunny. Not bad, huh? For just some jute Lay the paper on top of the bunny. You're right, Christy. I could do that. That'd be too easy. <laughs> that would be too easy. Finger protection, Sandra. Yes, Linda, you can. This is just liquid wax. It's the same thing. You can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do a couple more, and then we will get these on the, on the uh, wood. But I like how that is working. I don't know how many, let me see. Yeah, I had planned on three, but they're, that's a little big. I might try to make these a little smaller. So let's see. 
you move this. And I'm just shaping it around this little bunny. I'm gonna try to make this one a little smaller, so I'm kind of going inside instead of on the outside. I'm just using my fingers to kind of, you know, form out the shape a little better. And I'm going to make that a little shorter. said Nelda thank you for saying send up hearts <laughs> that's sweet you know it does help when when you guys send up hearts uh, it tells Facebook that you're enjoying the content so they will show a few more people and then you know it just, that's just how it works so if nobody comments and nobody sends hearts they quit showing the video and it just kind of sits there and doesn't do anything and nobody will see it so I do appreciate that. Thank y'all very much for all that. So this one's a little smaller. So see, we're kind of making a little family, I guess. And let's try what, um, what Christy said, and we will bring our paper to our bunny this time. So here's where I'm gonna go kind of fast, or try to. I still see hearts going. Thank y'all. Facebook's going to go, okay, they're liking this one. Okay. Well, that's easy. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, thanks, Wanda. I was like, this is either gonna work or it's not. I don't know which. That worked great, Christy. You are smart. And that's the part of the thing I love about doing things like this live because you guys get to give your opinions. You guys, maybe you've tried it before and have better ways of doing than I've thought of. Um, you may see this and think of something completely amazing and do that. So it's just, it's kind of cool to see where, where it takes people. Again, I always think about giving little things away, but this would be a sweet thing to give somebody, you know. Um, okay, so I have this little pot that I got at Target for a dollar, one dollar, and you could put one on a stick, put some styrofoam down in there or some grass and put a couple in here with some chocolates and give that to a neighbor or a mailman or whatever. So, you know, just little things to do for people to show kindness is always good. Now we'll make one more. Some, oh, April, that was a good one. Y'all throw it up for April. It'd be cute to give somebody. <laughs> That's precious. It would. Oh, yeah, I'll give coworkers. How cute would that be? Just set them on their little desk. You know, it's, it's amazing how a little thing can brighten your day, but it really does. I mean, we know that. And so never be like embarrassed or think, oh, people won't like that. Yes, they will. They'll love it. They'll love the th that you thought of them enough to do it. And, you know, if you don't want to use a book, I totally get that. Just print out from the internet 
a page from a book, you know, or look up something that you can print. Um, it doesn't have to actually cause harm to a book. Okay, so I still got some of this left. This was a brand new thing and I've done the three and I still have enough for a couple more, so. I do want to go see if I can get some more though. I think I'm gonna even try to make this one just a little smaller if I can, just by kind of shaping it a little bit. And remember, you know, this is spring I'm doing, but these would be cute as snowmen and do your book page white, you know, or, um, oh guys, I just had an idea. What if we did, what if we did our diamond dust? That would be so cute. Let's do one diamond dust or maybe all of them. Print on cream color. Yes. Yeah, exactly. There's so many things you could do. Yeah, Patty, I try to do that because I see a lot of people in our neighborhood complain about our mail person, and it's hard. You know it's hard, and I don't know. I'm, I'm going to reshape this one to make it a smaller one, so bear with me a sec. We're going to make this a, a small bunny. Oh, no, Dawn, don't do it. You keep it. I can find some. We have plenty of Dollar Trees in our area. I'll just, yeah, if mine doesn't have it, I'll go to another one. It's okay. Thank you, though. That's super sweet of you. And if I ever am in a bind and need something, I know I could ask this community and somebody would have it. So thank you so much for thinking that. Okay, so on this one, let's see, where was that place? The wire is showing just a little bit, so that's going to be my back side. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this one down. You ever notice that we get quiet when we're like really focusing on, you know, Christy, that was the best idea. Girl, what would I do without you? Just turn the book page over. Oh, April, I'm so glad that you're able to pop on. When you guys can put a little earbud in your ear and pop on some of these, you know, crafting events or art or whatever it is you enjoy, it really does kind of brighten up your day. So do that when you're having a rough one. Wear your hair down and put that earbud in. Just one so that you can still hear them in the other ear. <laughs> but you could totally, so my thought was to paint on these at this point. I was thinking, I would paint little, you know, like flowers or something. And maybe we do, let's see. I mean, there's so many things you could do. But I'm gonna go ahead, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do your, your wood strip. Now this came from Dollar Tree, just like this. Literally just took the sticker off and this is how it is. So I am gonna kinda, actually I don't really need to sand it. But I honestly just was like, I don't want to get a splinter and I can see. 
But anyway, you would normally sand this as well as you want to before you start working with it. And then this is a placemat I got at Michael's and I've used part of it, so it was pretty large. I mean, it was, you know, really. I mean, I don't know why they're calling it a placemat because that would be huge on a table. This would be a good placemat, but it was, you know, quite large because I had a whole bunny that I took off of it. But anyway, um, so I'm going to put this on the back. I'm going to get my X-Acto knife or whatever you call it. I call it a box. It, it's a box knife. You can use an X-Acto knife, but I'm just grabbing this because it's handy. And I'm going to just kind of eyeball it and use this. Yesterday, I used scissors to cut it, and it did make a pretty big mess, and somebody that was watching said, use an X-Acto knife, and I was like, of course. I know to do that with fur, so that makes sense that I would do it with this as well, and that way, you're really just cutting this plastic that it's on, and you're not really cutting the grass too much. And we'll see, but I'm sure that's going to be a lot less mess, much less mess. So we'll have this on the top, but I'm going to also do the sides. Now we could paint the sides. Let me think about that. That might be cute with it on the top and then have the sides either stained or um, white. And you know I love white. Okay, so that's probably what I'll do. And that just saves all the more of this to use for something else. So, let, less mess to do it this way. So, that was a great idea that I hadn't thought of. I just kind of grab whatever is handy, especially when I'm in a hurry. So, um, now on this, I'm going to put it down, and then I'm going to go ahead and drill right through it because I'm going to need it to be down. I don't really think there's another way that will work. So anyway, I'm just gonna glue this down. You could use any kind of glue that you have. Should work. Here we go again with this thing. I don't know why. It's wanting to give me trouble. But I'm trying to make it keep working and not have to repurchase one. So we got our grass attached. Probably should have painted first. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Paint the sides. Yes, we'll paint. The shirt is probably Kato. I would bet money on it, but I'd have to look at the tag. So I can look later and let you know. This is more like a stain. This is vintage effects, and I love using this on wood because it is more like a, a stain. I'm trying to think if I want it all one color. Maybe I do. Maybe I do want it white. So I am gonna use my chalky finish and make it white. I just had to picture it for a second. It took me a minute to. So this is my chalky white deco art Americana, and it's Chalk paint, but super creamy, goes on really well, and coverage is fantastic. So that's what I'm going to use to paint this. You would want to paint it first if you're doing it the right way. Okay. That's going to be cute. I'm glad I did white. But stained would be really cute as well. I just, you know, like everything white. But you could stain your little wood piece. And this can just be a scrap piece of wood. You know, it doesn't have to be like a strip like I'm using. Just use what you have on hand. And it's gonna take no time to dry because it's just so small.
Y'all still with me? Stained side brown like dirt. Yeah, that would have been cute. Yeah, I just like everything in this uh, area white, so I'm doing white, but yes, stain it brown would be super cute and definitely make it look like dirt. I love that idea. Okay. That is that. I'm gonna be really careful to only do the paint. <laughs> Because if you hit this heat on the grass, it will shrivel it. And that's really all I'm going to do, uh, just to kind of knock that down. Now, let's do our drill and get our little sticks ready to go down in here. I've got these um, dowel sticks. Let me see. I think I pulled some others as well. You can use any kind of sticks you have. I've got these that, you know, when you buy a bunch of flowers or um, those, those things like dried flowers that you put in a vase. So I bought one of those a long time ago and they were too long. So I cut them and just kept the ends because they're like stick, you know, they're great for crafts. But anyway, I've got these that actually have the pointed ends and that's what I'm gonna use, I think, cause they'll go right down in here perfect. So we'll see. So let's kind of, we'll do one in the middle. This thing needs to be uh, charged. Can y'all hear that? It was not very, okay. Just wanna be sure I don't lose my hole. done and our sticks. Now we'll cut these off to whatever length we need but I wanted to get that done and show you how easy. So just a drill, a drill bit that is about the right size. Don't ask me what size because it's probably not marked. It is marked. It's one eighth. So one eighth is the size of the drill bit. Does anybody, does anybody ever need a lesson in how to use something like that? Because it's so easy and I don't want that to intimidate anybody. And, but you can always use foam. So grab a block of foam if you're just, I'm not using a drill, then grab a block of foam and use that. Um, but anyway, there's that. And then we will cut these off to be the right length. might want one. We'll do this one just a tad bit taller and see. But anyway, now you've got three that you're going to keep for the next time. And then we can kind of decorate these little bunnies however we want to. So if we had a, you know, say that you want to do your little family, you just adjust the size of the base and the number of bunnies, right? So you could do this super cute if you wanted to do a little family. Oh, thanks, Patty. My husband got these done for, you know, let me go get these done for um, Valentine's Day. And I'm, I am loving having them done because I don't have to worry and they do look so much better. Yeah, I, I have no problem using any kind of tools. Hi, Linda Brown, how are you today? Glad you're here. Hi, Linda Williams, you too. Um, Kimberly, I'm gonna look after this, but I think Cato is where it's from, but I promise I'll get back with you and let you know. Okay, so we'll keep going. So for this, let's, do y'all wanna do a little family? I think it'd be cute to do a little family. So I'll do, um, you know, just, now I have four, but I'm gonna do three. <laughs> we'll say this is my husband, me, and the dog. <laughs> so you could do so many cute little things to make these your little family members, you know? 
or you could do, um, you could have these be the back and just have a little cotton tail for each one. So we've got options, so let's see what we wanna do. If we wanted to do it as, uh, let me think here. I have a couple of ideas we can do. The tails are cute. You know, um, if you did one of these really long, maybe a little wider and longer, it'd be a really cute centerpiece on your table. So if you have one of those long tables, ours is round, but um, you could do it on a round. So take this idea and just run with it if you like it, you know, because you could do so many different things. So let's say that we gave him, let's say that this was the front, you could give him a little bow tie or you could just put it kind of right here. And then for the girl, you could give her a little bling. You know, this is what I mean about just getting in there and start playing and getting it how you like it. We're gonna do a little bit of um, diamond dust though. So let's say that you wanted to give her a little bling right there. She could even have Now we're just kind of playing with it to give you guys some ideas. And y'all tell me what you're thinking because you're probably screaming at me with some cute ideas over there. Just tying this little um, velvet pink ribbon into a tiny bow. You like the tails? Tails are cute. Hi, Iris, glad you're here. Jacqueline, I love how you spell your name. That's so pretty. Bow on top of tail. Everybody's liking the tails. Okay, well, I like the tails too. We'll do tails. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay. So then we probably don't need a bow. Hi, Debbie Kastner, how are you today? I haven't seen you in forever. Hope you're having a good day. And this would be a cute idea for your littles to do. They just couldn't use hot glue. So you could, you know, now do we, do we want any kind of ribbon? We could give her a bling tail. So dad gets a regular tail, mama gets a bling tail. Just cut the back off if it has one. It just depends on, this is totally dazzled, by the way. If you haven't used it, you will love it. I've not met anyone who's bought it that doesn't love it, and it's not expensive. They have sales all the time. I have an affiliate link that it would really help me if you use. Um, you could do the little bow for the little guy or just cut down this one to be a little smaller. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks. My daughter got me this at um, Hobby Lobby just the other day, so they still have them. So if we cut down the little baby tail maybe a little bit, we'll see how that looks. I don't know. I've never cut these pom-poms. I don't know that it'll work to cut it. it. Might lose all its cute fuzziness, but I'm just gonna try and see. This is a day of trying. I've never made these. I'm just going for it and seeing how it works. And of course they sell smaller ones. I just, this is just what I have on hand, so. Oh, thanks Debbie. I will, um, well, let me just say this. I'll put my, my thing in here real quick. It doesn't take a second. Thanks for doing that, because it does help me a little. You know, the affiliate we get isn't a lot, but it's still, I appreciate every penny. It still helps me, enables me to keep doing what I love. So, um, yeah, thank y'all for doing that.
Almost done. Okay. So this, what I just put in is my, oh, glasses would be cute. What I just put in is my website. And one of the pages will say my favorite craft supplies, I believe, or my favorite supplies, something like that. And just, there's a link for the Totally Dazzled and for everything that I use. So if you ever, if you ever see me use something and you wonder, it, it should be in one of those little links or one of those, you'll see, it's a little box and you just click on what you're looking for. Thank you so much, Iris, for sprinkling that. That is awesome, thank you. Okay, so there we go. So we could, do y'all like this? Can y'all see if we do the, I do wanna give her for sure this total. Oh, thank you, Debbie, I appreciate you. I wanna give her some of this um, diamond dust. So let's grab an old brush. Always have to re lean way back over here to grab one of my not special brushes. And we're just gonna put some uh, Mod Podge, matte Mod Podge over this paper and then diamond dust her. It's gonna be pretty, I can tell. I think I'm gonna do this and then I'll do the top, but I don't want that to dry before I get the top done. And you can use as much or as little of it as you want. It doesn't take a whole lot to give you a lot of bling. So if you haven't used diamond dust, that's another thing you're really missing out on. It is fantastic. And typically I do this over a piece of paper so that I can save the rest of, you know, whatever falls off. But um, as you can see, it's not a whole lot. You know, it's not a lot that you let you lose when you use this. So now look at her. Can y'all see the bling? I don't know, it doesn't look like from here that you can see it. And my iPad froze, so let's see. Wanda, <laughs> smart, I don't know if it's smart or just brave, I just go for it. If I have an idea, I just, run with it. I literally thought about this like an hour before we're doing it and was like, we're doing this. So, okay, you can see it, good. So yes, and then we'll add our little bling. I call it bling bottom. And I'm just gonna use hot glue. If you want a permanent hold for these, let's say that you're gonna decorate a hat or something, which is on my list of to-dos, um, I would use E6000 glue something that's a real permanent hold because your hot glue, you know, it could pop off when you use hot glue, but your permanent hold glue would be better if you're wanting it, you know, to stay somewhere. But I typically, uh, especially crafts like this that are just pennies to make because it's paper and, you know, dollar store jute. Um, at the end of this season, I will pop this off and reuse it and uh, probably just chunk the bunnies. You know what I mean? I probably will not worry about keeping this until next season. That's just kind of, because I'm gonna want new things next season. So I recycle a lot. I'm so glad it shows up. Oh, thanks, Sandra. I love that y'all like it. Okay, so what did we decide? So if this is the back of them, do we even put the bow? Because I thought the pink bow would be precious, but if we're looking at the back of her, I guess she could have a ponytail like I do back there. So, what do y'all think? Let me know about the bow. And I'm just putting a little dollop of hot glue for the boy, the daddy bunny. Yes, on the bow. Okay, right there. Y'all like it right there on the back of her head is what it would technically be. I think it's precious. Okay, we like the bow. So glad that y'all are here to give me your opinions. 
sure makes it more fun. And I hope, I always hope that this brightens your day a little to, you know, come and see a little craft and chit chat with people in the comments and maybe it inspires you to do your own little thing or big thing and you got to show me. If you do make something, please show me. But you could keep going and paint. You could paint, you know, if you wanted this to be the front of the bunny, you could paint on a little face. I mean, there's just a lot you can do. I'm going to, um, let me think how I want to do this. I probably am just going to put a little line of hot glue on the back of him. And that's what I'm doing. Just putting a little line on the back and then press that onto our stick. Do we want the woman, <laughs> the little mama? I'm like, this is me. I'm pretending this is me up here, or do we want her down here where, you know, make that stick shorter? Oh, I think it'd be cute to have him in a little row like that. What do y'all think? <laughs> oh, Kimberly, thank you. You're so sweet. Debbie, people have always said that, and I used to think that, am I boring? Like, what do I need to do to be more? Because I... You know, you can't really change your personality. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh gosh, people aren't gonna watch if I'm boring. Some like it up, some like it down. Y'all tell me. So we could either just have them in a row. Okay, so kind of in a row. Or we could do the mama up high. Or we could do her a little lower and the baby a little lower. So what looks the cutest to you guys? A bit of an arch or triangle shape happened. What does that mean? Oh, Ashley, I didn't know you were on here. I'm so glad. Staggered, staggered. Okay. Um, I never saw you pop on. I'm glad you are you you're working from home, I bet, because of the weather. We I've known Miss Ashley a long time. We worked together at a hospital in Fort Worth, the hospital that I was born at and became fast friends and love her to death. She is a fantastic friend. And nobody celebrates family like Ashley Durrett. I mean, you are the queen and who I look up to when it comes to, now April's a close second, but I've never seen anybody like Ashley. She you you do not get around her without knowing how she feels about you. I mean, she, it's amazing. She's such a sweet uh, celebrator. I mean, okay, so just a hot glue line on the back and then we press it down onto the stick. Okay, is that about right, guys, for hot? The bunnies, Monica, are just made of paper. We took a book page and we... Um, messed it up to make it look, you know, a little tea stained or whatever. We just used this wax on a baby wipe and then used the jute around it. Now you don't have to have wired jute. You could draw your little shape on your book and then glue down your yarn, your uh, pipe cleaner, or just a regular piece of jute. But this jute made it easy because I just put it around a little wood bunny to make the shape and then glued that onto the paper and then just embellished it however you want to with whatever you have. If you had a little tiny flower off of a, you know, thing of flowers, um, you could make these little carrots mini and just have some little carrots coming out of the ground. There's so, so much you can do with this. So if you have kids or grandkids, I know they would like to make them. If you have um, an event that you wanna decorate for, that would be super cute or just Easter lunch um, you know, or at Christmas, you do snowmen or do gnomes. I mean, it's, there's so many things you could do. I'm so glad you do, Nelda. Thanks. Put it on a table. You should put a front on it with cute little faces. Yeah, that'd be cute. I mean, you could make a little ornament out of it. I mean, they're just so much. Let me see if I have one of my round... So this is 
a round wood piece that I got at um, at home, and it's got little feet on it. But you you see these rounds at all over the place, like Michaels and Hobby Lobby have them. I think I've got some in my Amazon shop. But you could either set it on here with a few little things. You could put some grass down on it, and then put your little you know bunnies. You could grab one of those wood rounds and drill the little sticks down into that. I mean, so many things and so many ideas. So when you see a little project, I challenge you to kind of think outside the box. You don't always have to do it the way it's made. And that's why I say kind of keep watching. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to make bunnies, you know, go ahead and kind of watch the craft or at least come back and see the end because it might spark an idea for something that you do want to do. So that's all I was going to say about that. Thank y'all for being here. I'm glad y'all like them. Yes, no, no, I, we don't want the ice, but we do like a day off from work for sure, or work from home, whatever. All right, guys, well, thank you. I'm so glad that y'all were here. It always is so much more fun when you do are able to come. I'm actually gonna be live again tonight, but it will be in my VIP group. So if you're in the VIP group, please um, join me tonight at seven. We're gonna do something else really fun in there. So thank you guys for sprinkling. Thank you for being here. And I appreciate you as always. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.